Hey guys, today we're gonna look at the uh, WaterTech Volt FX 8LI. This is a pool vacuum that can be used. It doesn't need any hoses. It's rechargeable, has a lithium battery. Um, I originally had the smaller version that I've used for two years, um, WaterTech Volt FX 4LI. Um, it was a fantastic product. Uh, I like it because I didn't have to pull the hoses out. Um, if I had some people coming over, I could quickly put it on the pole, vacuum up a couple areas if there was any debris in the pool. So fantastic. It opens up back here. This pops off and there's a little plug to charge it. Um, if you don't keep this lubricated to stop the water, it eventually stops working like what happened to me. Um, but really nice. It has a sock and this is a little thicker sock compared to the new model and um, you can kind of see the debris inside so it, it does that's kind of like sand so it does really do a good job sucking has a little flap here now that i got it all over me <laughs> a little flap um this though it did crack on me so kind of a little fragile so you can kind of see the size of the four now let's take a look. We're going to open the FX8. So let's take a look. I'm going to prop this up so you guys can see it. So this I bought um, at a local pool store called Great Escape. You can get it on Amazon. I'm sure you can get it direct. But um, I like instant gratification, so I went to the store and bought it myself. So let's open this up. Okay, got the operator's manual. It's fairly simple, but um, for some people like to read that, they can read that. All right, so this is the vacuuming head. Um, the difference is, I'll kind of do a side-by-side -side comparison, is that this one you can see the four is hard plastic, um, smaller. This has more bristles, more wheels, and it's kind of a uh, like rubber flexible, it looks like, if you could see that. So it looks like it'll kind of contour better versus this, because I did have problems with this, like getting in the corners of the pool, um, didn't always suck that good. Um, and I have steps, so this worked great on the steps. We'll see this, because obviously it's a longer um, base, and I don't know if it needs to create suction like this one, it's kind of more like a suction type. All right, so that's the vacuuming head. Open this up here. The first thing I noticed is that um, they changed the sock. You can kind of see it's a thinner material. This is more like a woven sock. And this is kind of like a perforated nylon. Still can't see my hand in it, but this I felt like clogged a lot faster. Um, could have been because of the material is a lot thicker. Um, this looks like water's gonna go through there. I don't know if I hold it up to the sun, you can kind of see the differences. And this one's kind of hard to see through. So that's might be a different um, sock bag for the eight versus the four, or they might have switched to, you know, a better bag. This again, plastic, similar to this one. Pretty much the same as a clip on. Here's the cord. It's kind of interesting. This is a European plug. I don't know if people have seen a European plug, but they obviously sell this all over the world. So we're in the US of A, America, baby. So we need a regular plug. So it looks like this would attach. This would attach if you were in Europe, I guess. Oh, maybe. Oh, somehow. <laughs> not sure, but we're not using it, so we don't care. So we we're gonna unplug this, so we don't need those two pieces. Now, let's open this up. Nice. Nice and sturdy. All right, here we go. So we have a hose. Let's see what the hose goes to. 
and there is the Volt FX8LI. Let's see how we can open this bag. I like to just rip things. <laughs> So, and then we have a little, looks like a little Krevy adapter so you can get in the tighter places. That's something that the, the Ford didn't have. And put this back. Set this back here. Put this up here. So you can kind of see. Garbage a little bit. All right, so size definitely much bigger. The eight is much bigger than the four. So back here it has your attachment. So it looks like this might be for a handheld, I guess, if you wanted to do. Again, you can read the directions figure out more of the stuff, but the sun's coming out. So this is kind of interesting where you could possibly plug this in, I'm guessing, into here, and then you can put your little attachment on and walk around. Or better yet, it probably goes here. There we go. And that would connect. This is for the pole back here, so that wouldn't have any suction. So this probably clips into here like this. It'll lock on. <laughs> Other than the looks. Okay. Alright, maybe this isn't seated in there correctly. Ah, so what I said with the forehead was a thicker sock so they do have the thicker sock in here or you have the option of this one i think this one would be better just in my experience but we're going to try them both so this is the inside which is kind of cool if you use this you can possibly see more debris so make sure this is seated this one's nice because it actually goes flat when you're doing it this one go flat as well but it's kind of angled because of the pole so when you build this one you put the sock in here I tend to push down in a little bit and that's locked Ready? so we got this little sock in there we'll take this hose connector off So it can flip like that. So there is the WaterTech Volt FX 8LI. Um, also, see how easy this unclips. I'm afraid I'm going to drop it. Perfect. It pops right off. And then you could put this on, which is kind of cool. And then you can hold it here and I guess walk in the pool. So that's a cool, op cool option, I like that. We'll have to try that. So there's all the pieces. Um, again, let's see where it charges. Oh, there. So we do need this piece. So this piece will stay connected here. And this will go into, let's see how. Arrow to arrow. Arrow, arrow. Shows no water. So obviously you gotta charge this out. This is where the European plug would go. You just push this little button here, turn this, and then this would just clip it in there. There you go. European plug. American plug. Now 
where is the on button? Inside, nice. So I didn't know when I was opening this if it was going to work. So since it does work, we're going to go over to the pool and we're going to start vacuuming to see kind of how it works. So let's go to the pool now. All right, now we're actually going to vacuum out. We're going to do a little bit in the hot tub and then we're going to do a little bit in the pool so you can kind of see it work different depths. Um, it does recommend that you charge this for four hours. Um, the cool thing about this model is that the cord actually has a light indicator, red when it's not charged, green when it's fully charged. So that's definitely cool. So we're gonna try this um, with it coming right out of the box. I haven't charged it, so it might die during the, uh, the, <laughs> the vacuum time. But basically take it, it's got these two plastic buttons. Push those in. Now you got it. Turn it on. And they say in the directions, like right after you turn it on, you should submerge it immediately. Um, so we'll just turn it on. If you can kind of see, there's a bunch of debris. There's a worm in the corner. So we're going to try to suck all this up without having to pull out the hoses. So here we go. in the corner is pretty good. It's nice to move. Definitely more suction than before. It does tend to kick up because obviously it's sucking and blowing so it does kind of stir up the debris in, in the pool. Um, one of the things that I did notice about the four was that if it comes out of the water, it doesn't suck anymore. So we'll see, because this is obviously bigger. I was able to get to this step with the four. So it's working pretty good. Let's get in this corner here. What is doing? Pretty good job. Looks like it's just over here. Got a bunch of stuff. do this top step on my spa with the four. See if it does. Yeah, because once it's see once it's out of the water it kind of loses its suction power. So it does have to be submerged. But it looks pretty good. It did a nice job. The convenience is probably the best part of this machine because I don't have to pull out the hoses. I could just do a big spot check and then I could just pick it right up and then into the pool. Once you put it in, it is kind of hard to see until the water kind of stops moving and then there we go. We just so very easy to work. Definitely enjoy vacuuming my pool because you always want to clean the pool. And again, when you have the pool cover open, trees, leaves, debris tends to blow in there. Um, as you can see here, we got some stuff on the top, so we'll have to net it. Now we're at the deepest part of the pool. You can still hear the machine. It's 
Here, I'm gonna back in my head, see if I feel it. Ah! All right, so there it is. I definitely like this product. Um, I'm glad I upgraded to the eight. So I'm looking forward to using it this summer. Hope this video has helped. If it does, please uh, hit the like button. And if you want to subscribe, subscribe.